see, the thing is that because of my disabilities, I should have had disability and housing at the age of 18. But I didn't have any help with that. And I get overwhelmed. And... And I need help. And I ask for help. And I work hard. I work fucking hard. But it was never good enough. And all these people who have families, they just take it for granted that they have that help. Like... <sighs> fuck, you know? The, uh, first time that I ever got actually treated like a rapist, I mean, most of my life I've been treated like I'm, because I'm different, that I'm gonna rape somebody, that I'm gonna kill somebody, that I'm gonna this and I'm gonna that. So my whole life, I've been treated like shit and abused and bullied over things that I would never fucking do. Meanwhile, the people who actually do that get away. The first time I was ever treated like a rapist was in Chapel, Nebraska over Jamie Curtis. That was after, well, a, a lot of really messed up situations that involved Todd Rust and Oates and Hayden McCall and a few other of Jamie's suitors. And, uh, Jamie did the right thing. She made them stop. She made them stop. It wasn't true, and I never should have been punished for it. The second time was when I left Virginia in 2016. I tried to show all of the evidence Instead, these people, because I couldn't keep it public, people kept destroying evidence. Like one of the posts that I made where I said I, I couldn't bring myself to kill James. That got me on a Facebook ban. Because I said I couldn't bring myself to kill somebody. That put me on a Facebook ban. I had never been on a Facebook ban before Natalie died. Never. So I had to make it private. But I needed help. And I, I just, everyone who sent me a friend request, I allowed them on there because the police wouldn't do anything. And I let these people on there. And the people who said that they would help me did nothing. They saw these things going on and didn't do anything. They just procrastinated until the statute of limitations was up. And then they treat me like shit because I spoke out about it. Like I needed a safe environment to sit down and calm down and collect myself. Somewhere where the evidence was safe. Somewhere where I wasn't going to be fucking harassed by the cops for being homeless. Somewhere where I wasn't going to be abused by the public because of the slander by the news and by the Bollinger family. They didn't punish me for things I did. They punished me for assumptions of things that I might do because I'm different. This is hell. I need help. I, I get yelled at over little fucking shit. And I'm not allowed to yell about major shit.
This is too much, and it's so fucking slow. I mean, when I get to the part in Virginia, like, fuck, dude. The court dates that I was illegally prevented from going to. Those can be used to prevent me from having an honest court date and any of my other court dates. People played fucking victim when I asked for help. They said that they would help and then procrastinated. They said that they would help. I am disabled. I cannot mentally function. Where I'm at now, the lady said that she wasn't going to help me with any of my court stuff. I already knew that she wasn't gonna. I came up here for a positive environment. She doesn't care how her actions in the past affected me long term. She doesn't care that her not coming forward with the truth affected me so greatly. And she bitches at me about stuff that I had no fucking control over. I'm not allowed to have emotions. I'm not allowed to say how I feel. And that's everywhere. I'm not allowed to tell Shannon Alvarado how her alcoholism and the way that she treats people when she's drinking shuts me down. I'm not allowed to say that or I'm a terrible person. You have no idea how many times that woman screamed at me. None. While I was at her house, she didn't scream at me once. And I didn't scream at her once. I just had to take the abuse because she was screaming at others. Just before Natalie died, like, I, I was in a no-win situation. And everybody who promised me that they would help, all these people who told me that they loved me, they fucking procrastinated and procrastinated and procrastinated. I needed help. I was begging for help. I needed Jeff Ritter to help. I needed Peaches to help. I needed no Nicole Peralta to help. I needed Tamara to help. Tamara did help. See, she was the only one out of all of this who understood that I was having severe problems because of my disabilities, and I needed help. I needed help getting that disability. My dad treated me like shit because I didn't get disability at 18. Treated me like shit. People to keep telling me to get a job. I can't. I can't function. The things that I've gone through are fucking traumatic as shit and I need help. But because I was never allowed to show evidence and because my public pretenders wouldn't do their jobs. Because I couldn't get a disabilities advocate I have to take this abuse for the rest of my life. 